<sighs> black people. Why, oh, why did I the cappuccino? Hey, sorry, your hair's really cool. Can I touch it? Oh, yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Yo, y'all gotta stop this shit, you fucking sun turds. Ain't nobody walking up on you doing that shit. Black people always try to make something seem like it's just, it's it's crazy. Like, I've never been, yo, I've never been with one of you fucking sun turds and somebody did that, man. Never. And I'm a fucking whole sun man, man. Salute to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. I'm tired of y'all, man. I'm tired of y'all, man. I'm tired of y'all lying to the people, man. Being a victim and a narcissist at the same time. Press one. Press one if you're tired of black people being victims and narcissists at the same time. Pick one. And you don't and you don't have to pick one overall. Just in each interaction, pick one. They won't be a victim and a narcissist in every interaction. This shit don't never fucking happen. Don't know why I ever come up to you and ask, can they touch your fucking hair? If she ever wanted to touch a black dude's hair, she would just touch the fucking 50 black dudes she's fucked and sucked hair. Press one. If she ever wanted to fucking touch a black guy's hair, she would have just picked one of the 50 black guys she sucked and fucked in her life to touch their hair instead of walking up on you cold, approaching you in public, asking she she touch your hair. Press one. <laughs> this stupid shit, man. Salute the monster, man. It's like really nice. Thank you, thank you. Oh, they're called finger coils. <laughs> I've only had it recently, you know. <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, what was your name again? <gasps> I always wanted one of these. So we give a cookout. <laughs> no invites to anybody? You're not supposed to let anybody touch your hair. Even I know that. You set me up. You're lucky you can wear that. Give it back. Hey, sorry, your hair's really cool. Can I touch it? Oh, yeah, thank you. Go ahead. It's like really nice. Thank you, thank you. Oh, they're called finger coils. <laughs> I've only had it recently, you know. <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, what was your name again? <gasps> I always wanted one of these. So we give a cookout invites to anybody? You're not supposed to let anybody touch your hair. Even I know that. You set me up. <laughs> Listen, man. You sun turds are some strange, strange people, man. God, y'all strange, man. Y'all are strange, man. Damn, y'all are strange, man. Oh, some strange, strange people, man. 
Y'all need help. <laughs> Y'all just lie, man. The, the, I will give you this, man. The ability to lie like that, man, is uncanny, man. Let me drop the link, man. Everybody want to come up, man. Come up, man. I ain't even going to do no. Y'all just lie, man. That shit is scary, man. Y'all got motherfuckers scared of y'all. Like, oh shit, hey, y'all lie like that. Because if, if you lie, you kill and you kill, you steal, man. Shit. Y'all lie like that. That shit's scary, man. Ain't nobody coming up to you, cold approaching you, asking, can they touch your hair? You fucking crazy bitch. Yeah, that shit probably happened four times in the history of America. Hi, I'm Jill, and I've fucked 50 black guys in my lifetime. But I need the code to approach you in public and ask you to touch your hair so I can know what black textured hair feels like. Y'all some, y'all annoying, man. Y'all, y'all ain't just annoying. Y'all more than annoying. Y'all more than annoying, man. If y'all were only annoying, everything would be fine. We could deal with you if you were just annoying. Y'all are more than annoying. What's going on, Patel? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, I've never yeah. seen another race of people that are so obsessed with their own hair. It's unbelievable how much they like think their hair is some sort of an accomplishment. It's weird. <laughs> and hate like it at that, the same time. Yeah, like that kid. And he, I think he's some, he's in Texas or something like that. He's like suing that school for the Crown Act because he wants to keep his braids. And the court actually ruled in favor of the school now. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about that? Yeah, the Crown Act. Yeah, man. Let's, you know what? We can get into that, man. This stupid. Ass, we we covered that when it happened. Yeah. Um, but um, I mean, the, it just shows you like the priorities. Like that's the. That's the what was that the hill he wants to stand on? No, not him. Or... He it's them because that kid that kid ain't got the power to keep this shit going. It's them. It's other black people. This shit is this shit is stupid. Yeah, this I mean, is... I, I mean, he has to be involved. I mean, his mom is like pushing him. Yeah, like, but you think know, he man, could make learn. it a national story? You think that little kid can make this a national story, man? He's being his right. his case is being um. Is being yeah, uh, but see what the thing is, it's giving him a false sense of like this civil rights leader that he probably thinks he is now. You know, he's fighting the man. Oh yeah. Annoying. Yeah, and 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 you just gotta ignore that's why I tell that's why I, I think a big problem Trump is gonna have during this election, he's gonna keep trying to engage black people, and every time he tries to engage black people. They're going to say, um, they're going to whine and complain about something he did. And they're going to whine and bitch about it. And it, it, you have to be perfect. And you have to be like, yo, unless if you're not a Democrat, man, don't say nothing to black people. Don't and don't say anything to them as a rich. Just ignore them. Your supporters, the blacks that support you, will support you. They're already considered coons. If you're a Republican and you have black supporters, those people are already excommunicated. So it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
like trying to gain new ones. Nah, man. Plenty of Republicans have won elections without black people support. Yeah, that's true. It's never going to be enough either. You could be like, I promise to give you X amount of money. Be like, why, why you ain't give us this amount? <laughs> <laughs> well, you 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 just saying that. I mean, and like it's just yeah. like with that platinum bill, man. Biden offered them nothing. Trump offered them the fucking world, and they still fucking bitched and moaned about it. And they fucking canceled Ice Cube, uh, one of their fucking heroes, because of it. Sons he wanted, like yeah, exactly. We're, we're, it's a wickedness to us, man. We're wicked. Yo, I, I was laughing at that video. We keep gliders on our mind 24-7, man. <laughs> we, we're just, we're, we're, we're strange. We're strange, man. We're like, we're like, um, we're like gnats. Have you ever heard that thing, niggas and flies? That that this poem, niggas and flies, niggas and flies. The more, um, the more I hang around niggas, the more I like flies. <laughs> it's true, man. And I and listen, man. Don't get me wrong, sons, man. I'm not trying to sit here and act like you know what I'm saying. It just when 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 I see y'all do certain stuff, man, it's just y'all are so annoying, man. Yeah. I'm not saying take every sun person out and just if you see a sun person, just kick them in the head or some shit like that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying some people are annoying. Let's go to Texas now, where a judge just ruled in a case about a black student's fight to keep his hairstyle. NBC's Morgan Chesky is live in Dallas. The student, Daryl George, has been out of the classroom, I think, what, for the better part of a year now? What was the decision? Yeah, Chris, I want to read you the judge's words exactly here, saying that the district's policy, that being Barber Hill District outside of Houston, does not prohibit nor does it discriminate against male students who wear braids, locks, or twists, adding the Crown Act does not render unlawful those portions of Barber Hill's dress code. Those were the judge's words earlier today, just a short time ago, in fact, in the case of Daryl George, this 18-year-old high school junior who hasn't been able to sit in class with the rest of his classmates, Chris, because the district says that even though he wears his hair up in locks, if it's let down, it would violate the school's policy. And so, in turn, he is now suspended, and the judge siding with... You know one thing that they do that's, that's also sinister? They won't show you any white kids at this school and see if they have long hair. They won't show you any Hispanic kids at this school so we can see if they have long hair. They won't show you any other black kids at this school to see if they got long hair. They just... they And, 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 and most people aren't smart enough to ask that question. Like, well, show us some other kids. You can blur out their faces at that school that are walking around with hair violating the policy. Or so it, the 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 fact that they don't do that would tell you logically that he's the only one violating the policy in that school that has plenty of black kids, plenty of white kids, and plenty of Hispanic kids. Where's the TikToks from other students from his school saying, "Hey, man." I'm a white kid from that school, man, and I get to wear my hair long like a rock star from the 80s, and they don't say nothing to me. This is a travesty, what they doing to this black kid. They isolated on him, and no one asked any questions. Black I don't think privilege. it means anything. Yeah. Black privilege. Happy uh, Black History Month to y'all. Yeah, but, uh, thank you, man. Hey, yeah, uh, salute, Aqua's good. Hey, uh, no gliders have ever asked to touch my hair ever. No once. Ever. I, haven't, I haven't had the privilege, but I don't be having cool hair and shit. Like, well, tell me this: Have you ever been around some <laughs> other sons and seen it done Fuck to another no. son? Fuck no, <laughs> never. Now, once in my life, I just been sitting with a sun woman chilling, <laughs> and some white woman just comes up while we eating this shit, like. <laughs> Yo, your hair is so nice. Can I touch it? This I've never seen that in real life. Uh, I but they swear it happens though. 
they swear it all happens. the time. If you ask them, they'll say it happened. <laughs> like if you in a room yeah. of some people, it's a bird. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, oh, yeah it's, just, it's just it's just the cross that it's just a cross we bear, you know. It's just <laughs> yo, but my actual blood sisters have never said that shit to me ever. My blood sisters, who you know what I mean. <laughs> Like, but tell me, <laughs> just be like, and be like, yo, oh. guess what? This white chick, you know, what I mean, it's just I never. The only person to ask to touch my hair, or she didn't even ask, she just started touching it, was a was a sun woman. Yeah. Oh, you a Patel? <laughs> yeah, he's a Patel, man. Oh yeah, you got that Patel. straight shit. Oh man. yeah, they love your hair. Yeah, but no, this was this was when I was like in my, uh, like when I was really young, and I. And me and my friend were both Patels. We went to this black barber shop and just and we asked for her to braid our hair up. So we had little small little braids all over our hair. Oh god. And yeah. back when the the Sun sisters just started feeling on her, I was in the elevator and she was like, she started she was like giving me compliments. She really liked it. No, oh, they yeah. love straight hair. You got straight hair. <laughs> Ugh. It'll kill, man. It'll kill. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With the district saying that their stance on that does not violate Texas's Crown Act, which was enacted back in September of 2023 to try and prevent race based hair discrimination. More than 20 other states have adopted similar policies and the family. We've already heard from them, Chris. They do plan to appeal. We have not heard directly from them on camera, but we know that a Texas state rep supporting them today had this to say following that judge's ruling. Take a listen. I think we've got to remember that this is about Daryl. Which means that it's not about him. Which is which means it has nothing exactly. to do with him. Exactly. That's <laughs> her way. Of, <laughs> right. That's her way of saying I want to be the center of attention. <laughs> and look at her. She got a fade. She got a fade and it's blonde and a blonde fade. And she got and finger waves. No, no, no. No, this is a regular, regular Caesar. She got a Caesar, yeah, a blonde got, Caesar. Yeah. And it's like, well, this kid, if this kid got smoked by some fucking son team, Javarius, some kid named Javarius walked up and blew his kid's brains out. No, none of these people would give a fuck. Yeah. Had this to say following that judge's ruling. Take a listen. I think we've got to remember that this is about Daryl. And to see that young man crying. Oh, God. <laughs> Who believes that that young man has shed one tear over this shit? <laughs> missing class. He getting a missing class. He <laughs> been out of school for half the year. No, <laughs> he's true. <laughs> Who you no. think you're playing with, woman? You, you gotta remember, I'm a son, man. That kid is loving this shit. He out of class, man. You see that smile? He got the smile of it. Of a, of a kid who's been fed and gassed up. Yeah, man, he's cool. He's skipping school on purpose. He didn't understand. We couldn't explain it to him. We tried to explain it to him. He How about starting with, hey, Daryl, man, look around at your other classmates, your other schoolmates. Um, are any of them violating the school policy? <laughs> nah, it's just you. That's where I would have started, man. If you wanted to make him help, help him understand how this travesty is happening, um, he's the only one violating the school policy. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he's just being slick by tying it up. All the other kids at that school got their hair cut a certain way, white, black, or Hispanic, and he's the only one violating it by, t by okay, well, instead of cutting it, I'll just tie it up. And they're like, nah, man, no matter what, you got to fucking cut that shit to go to this particular school. And instead of going to another fucking school, he keeps wanting to come to this school because these lawyers and shit and these fucking agitators have fucking taken on his cause. If he, he's probably told them a hundred times, man, I just want to go to another school, man. Oh, I just want to cut this shit. No, Daryl, you can't cut it, man. You, the whole world is riding on you. The race is the fate of the black race is riding on you. <laughs> shit is crazy. These people are sick. He just wants to learn. And he just wants to be normal. 
his mom was so physically shaken. Like I was worried about her. Are you okay? Do I need to get you some water? <laughs> Yo, Ak, you think this is a kind of like a representation of, of what happened during the um, segregation days? Oh Black yeah, books just exaggerated. Oh, our exaggerated. books Yo, we've already started. proven that though. We've proven that time and time again that they didn't have it like they said they have it. They give us the old books. <laughs> They've proved it by never talking about this stuff. Whatever, whenever we go to watch those videos from back in the day, they never yeah. talk about all this shit white people are doing to them in real time. I'm talking about the you. This is a video from 1958. Not nary a nigga talk about anything a white person did. To them. <laughs> That's true. Running around living carefree, doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Shit, these people are. I I I one hundred percent think that this was. First of all, I think segregation was some Jim Crow was something that was enacted because sons with all them guns back in the day and the, how bold they were. White people was like, look, we can't live with y'all. It's always something, man. <laughs> y'all have y'all shit and we'll have our shit. And by them saying y'all have y'all shit and we have our shit over like the course of the years from let's just say Jim Crow started in 1900 or something, right? And they was like, no, we can't live with these niggas. It probably took two years before, like niggas, the shit niggas start saying, "Oh shit, our shit sucks, man. <laughs> this shit is cool, man." They start regretting that shit, like, right? yeah, right. but wife was like, "Nope, we can't live with you." And it was like, "Oh, imagine sixty years later, after like whites, blacks had to do their own, and whites had to do their own for sixty years, black shit." The chasm between the quality of life in the black community and the quality of life in the white community was so great that it made it look like oppression. When really at the beginning, it was just like, all right, man, y'all keep causing trouble. Y'all can do y'all shit. We want to do our shit. And after 60 years, it looked like, oh, shit, look what they doing to these black people. Nah, all they did was say, nah, you do your own thing. We're going to do our own thing. That's what I think happened. I don't think it was no oppression. I agree. And black, the black water fountain sucked. The black bathroom sucked. The black movie theater sucked. The black stores sucked. Could you imagine <laughs> black people with no Arabs and no Hispanics and no Patels to run stores in the community? The black people ha actually had to run the stores in their community because it was before all those people came to this country. All those other races started coming to this country. Yes. So those those stores sucked. They were run terribly. <laughs> you show always, up. Always, always out of stuff. Yeah, inventory is low. Yeah, inventory is fucked up. Yeah, they had to run their own stores. Yo, they probably hated white people for making them run their own stores. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to Rick Hampstead. He said, a little donation for Ock Nation, man. Salute to you, Rick. Salute, Rick. Please pray for this family. And we did have a chance to hear from that 18-year-old prior to today's court hearing where he sh shared that he was angry that this fight has to continue on despite policies such as but it doesn't have to continue on. He could just cut his hair, go to go to school, or he could go to another school that doesn't. I bet you this is probably the only school in that district that has that policy because this is a good school. This school right here, um, right here that he goes to, it's like a um. We, we did the video back in the day when it first happened. This is a really good school, and they have a high standard, and they um have rules and shit like that that other schools don't have. And it's just, it's like, it's this particular school. He could go to the next school in his district, the next school in his district, and he wouldn't have this problem. He's just causing problems at this really good school. 
Sons Jazz ruined the Crown Act being, <laughs> being enacted as, as recently as last fall. Again, the family says they plan to appeal, but no date has been set on when this ongoing legal saga will resume here. Chris? Yeah, annoying doesn't even, isn't even a word, man. We have a major update me. on the story that we've been following. And look at him. He got his hair. He like, uh, look, right. oh you, you can be a news anchor and have hair like this, young man. Don't let them tell you you can't be anything. Look at me. I'm on the news, and I have hair just like you. I stand in solidarity with you. Like, uh, he, he, he was probably, he was, he's like hoping somebody says something to him. That's a whole, that's <laughs> all, the only reason why he did it. It's like, he's just looking for somebody to even mention or hint something about bad about it. Nobody but, I mean, ever like, does. Yo, you, you, yeah, yo but, listen, let me tell you something, man. That whole notion, that's so bullshit that black people can't wear their hair. Go into a black school. Don't go to a black school. Go to a train station or a bus stop in your city and watch the kids in the morning going to school and look at their fucking hair. Sit on a train in your city during rush hour and look at the black women. Not one of them will have the same hairstyle. You could see a thousand black women and not one of them will have the same hairstyle. <laughs> Going to work every day in your fucking city. Right. Quiet as it's kept, though, what, what we, we don't want to talk about is like, if you go to like a HBCU or any like a black school that's good, they'll tell you to cut your hair. Exactly. Like you white people ain't really telling you to do that. It's you'll have way more black people telling you to cut your hair or keep it short. Yeah, especially and the that, older ones. And that one kid, I mean, at this point he has to be held back, right? They can't just push him through to the next grade. No, nope. you don't want those problems. You yeah, don't want just those just problems. let it pass. Right. They they've been doing this to us for centuries, denying us education because of our kids. Oh shit, no. Let that let him let him pass, push him forward, fuck it, get him out of this. We have a major update on a story that we've been following about a black student accused of violating his school district's policy on the length of boys' hair. 18-year-old Daryl George, who wears his hair in long locks, has been out of his regular classes since August. Now a Texas judge has ruled the school district's punishment of George for refusing to change his hairstyle does not violate state law. Omar Villafranca has more. It's put a lot of emotions on me, you know, anger, sadness. For almost his entire junior year, Daryl George has been suspended from regular classes for wearing his long hair like this in twisted locks on the top of his head. You can't be a child like everybody else, you know. You see everybody else walking around, talking, laughing. Lord have can't mercy, do that. this be putting a lot of emotion on me too, I... <laughs> <laughs> Like contempt, uh, disgust, uh, incredulousness. Oh my God. You see he's surrounded all by sisters, right? All the, like, touching his face. He Look looks like the the aliens from Mars Attacks. And she about to go to work after this fucking, after this fucking thing. So is the sister in the cowboy hat. Yeah, they go all go go to work and, and, and right, and fucking, not, not a single one of them have the same. She, one of them in a cowboy hat. You not find one that's the not one alike. This is crazy, man. These people are crazy. This is this is public display of mental illness. This is almost like the trans thing. It's just it's yeah. just different because it's just a different form of mental illness. And everyone has to play along with it. Everyone has to play along with this charade. Barbers Hill School District said it's the length of George's hair that violates the dress code for males because it extends below the top of a T-shirt collar, the eyebrows, or the earlobes when let down. But George's attorney argued in court Thursday that school code violates the state's Crown Act, which prohibits discrimination against a hair texture or protective hairstyle. But it's not. It's a length. It's not discriminating against his hair texture. They're discriminating against the length. You wrong. <laughs> but they just going to keep saying this shit. 
And nobody, and nobody from the news go ask any questions. Simple questions. Kyle, commonly or historically associated with race. But a district judge ruled in favor of the school district, saying the Crown right. Act does not protect hair length, adding that it is not his job to rewrite the law. There's a difference between rewriting text and interpreting ambiguous text. It didn't say length is irrelevant with respect to the statute. It simply was silent on the question of length. When you grow locks, braids, or twists, it takes a certain amount of length. State Representative Ron Reynolds, who helped write the Crown Act, testified Thursday oh, dude, that although the, the length Act. is not specified <laughs> in the law, you can't make this shit up, man. That glistening and shit. <laughs> I'm looking at no hair. It's like, it's literally like every black story is like the Chappelle show, man, or bad TV or living color. It's just <laughs> they're all skits, man. Are you kidding me? He's living this his thing... vicarious one for hair through these young men. <laughs> well, that old movie was right about us. Birth of a Nation. <laughs> Remember they yeah. skipped? Yeah. They were right. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. We're just something. Yo, you get the fuck out of here. No way, man. No way. If he was white, he'd be a racist skinhead. <laughs> they choose a white woman to talk about the hood. They choose a bald man to talk about the crown hair act. <laughs> man. State Representative Ron Reynolds, who helped write the Crown Act testified Thursday that although the length is not specified in the law, it is inferred with the very nature of the style. The school district said other students with locks comply with its length policy. The Georgia. school board said other kids with locks comply with the uh -oh. policy. <laughs> you see how... Watch this is this, a crusade against black people at the school? This, this is two minutes into this story. And they finally tell you that. And most stories about this don't tell you that. Yeah. But even in the story where they tell you, you got to watch all the way to the end, to the very end of the story, and they'll tell, oh, yeah, um, other black kids in the school, they just cut their hair. <laughs> they just wear a short. <laughs> they, <laughs> they follow policy. <laughs> students with locks comply inferred with the very nature of the style. The school district said other students with locks comply with its length policy. Georgia's attorney said they will appeal the decision. For CBS Mornings, I'm Omar Villafranca in Dallas. In the meantime, he'll just stay out of school for the next four years, right? So interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, I'm, wait, he's I'm a, waiting on my appeal. Yo, he's a junior, man. This kid needs to be, like, getting ready Who's for that. Yeah. Who's outside? Oh, she, you, oh that's <laughs> Noah Badzi, man. That's Noah Badzi, man. I don't know why he got fucking bells jingling and shit. He yeah, must be trying. trolling or some shit. <laughs> but, you know, he's getting even a better education than, than what the school piece. would teach him. Because he's being educated on how to become an activist. <laughs> Maybe right. so. He's basically like Rosa Parks. He'll be, he'll be known for this, perhaps. <laughs> Right. Forget forget taking the SAT your junior year. And he's already missed that SAT, PSAT. He should be applying for colleges soon. Nope. He's sitting at home. That all the, the suspension is had on him and his academics. Lord. Came to a black teen wearing locks. And remember, the Texas Texas passed the Crown Act, which outlawed hair discrimination in government, jobs, when it comes to school as well. But uh, the judge says, no, the school district's uh, hair policy uh, is just, and the young man who has been in in-school suspension, well, he does not uh, win his case. Barbara, Barbara Hill ISD, uh, the judge ruled that they did not violate the Crown Act for disciplining Daryl George. That decision came down today. Uh, Chambers County good. Judge uh, Chap became the third sided with the school district, saying that his hairstyle didn't adhere to the grooming guidelines. Again, the 18 year old has spent over half of his junior year uh, in in school suspension. Before today's hearing, Daryl talked to us and other media about the impact of the situation that that, that all these the suspension has had on him and his academics. It's, it's put a lot of it's put a lot of emotions on me, you know, anger, sadness, um, 
I want to see his black you know, his, his lawyer. Let's see his George lawyer. family attorney plus Ron Reynolds. He is the Texas Legislative Black Caucus.